name is Mali and right now we are live with the talented musical duo Salman Salman. Say hi! Hey! Hi guys! And they have a very special announcement to make. So guys, over to you. So we've been uh, you know, touring and traveling and composing and you know, doing so many so many things but uh, it's this since the past one year uh, you know we've been working on a, a very very interesting project and that's uh, uh, it's a that's a film called Shukran Allah and it's a journey of both me and Suleiman uh, it's our musical journey and uh, and we've done this especially for our fans and for our, for our listeners so this film Shukran Allah which releases this evening at uh, 6 p.m. We can release it now. Okay, it's going to release now. <laughs> well, it's already live. What's, right? what's better than releasing it on this morning? Exactly, guys. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually live on uh, uh, iTunes at the moment. Uh, and, uh, uh, and we're going to send you a link very soon. As soon as we finish this Facebook uh, yeah. live That's right. session. We've seen the, I think you if, you, if you guys have already logged on to the page, you'll have seen the trailer. And, uh, you know, you'll have seen uh, what really went into making this special film, Shukrana. And um, there are lots of reasons why we've called it Shukranada. Um, and uh, I'd like to actually invite my friend uh, Shakti Hasija, who's directed this film. And uh, you know, hi, hello, come Shakti. So, uh, I mean, uh, before we say anything about the film, uh, Swagata, sorry, I, I thought I'd ask Shakti about what, how it happened, how this film happened, and you know, how did all everything come across. So, I mean, it was a very simple idea. I, I myself have been a fan of Salim and Sulaiman. I've been hearing their music since years. Their songs are so popular, their music has been there, and all of us have literally grown up on this music. So, I was always curious then what, what, is, what was their idea behind creating these songs. So, I said, what better than kind of bringing out those ideas? What were their inspirations? What, were, what was their ideas behind coming up with those words, those tunes, those emotions? So. As an amalgamation of all those emotions and those ideas, we came together with this idea of creating a film which through their music covers their journey from being these young, you know, aspiring music directors to who they are today. Actually, that's not true, Shaks. Don't lie. <laughs> what happened was we had just come back from a massive tour okay. and uh, we wanted uh, someone to create a small little four minute thing, you know, uh, just putting it down on Facebook and showing us traveling and our tour and how how difficult it is and how how we travel non-stop and all of that. So Shax, because you are such a good friend of us, we said, Shax, why don't you make a four minute film, a small little AV of uh, all the footage that you have. And we had a lot of concerts that we had shot. So it started from there. He took all the footage, disappeared for 15 days. <laughs> They're calling him, sir, I'm coming, sir, I'm coming, I'm coming. And then suddenly, 15 days later, he comes in with this 30-page script and says, I have written down what I feel should be a documentary. It should be a film, not just a small yeah. three minutes. That's what he just said, that, you know, he's been <laughs> listening to our music as well and he's been a fan as well. And so, you know, what is his interpretation of what our listeners and what our fans would like to hear from us. And, uh, and it's so rightly put because, you know, this is something which, this, it, it touches upon our family, it touches upon our, you know, uh, upon our lives, which on the, on the road where it's so difficult, we sometimes we have sleepless nights, sometimes our voices are bad, you know, we are in no state, we have absolutely no position to perform the next night after all the travel, but we have to do it. So the film is, it's really interesting, it's like a 30 plus minute film and it captures a lot of emotions. Uh, about us and our crew and about our, about our band and you know everything around us. You know, the unique part is it was shot over four years. Yes. So it, it covers even their journey of what their emotions are going through as they are touring, how their family is coping with it, how the team is putting up through all the trials and tribulations. So it's a, it's a mammoth which takes you on this whole emotional ride and obviously the music which takes you that you know what these emotions they led to these songs that, mm -hmm. that came out of their you know their so why is it called Shukranala? Is it because it's it's one of your popular songs, or it is because it's your way of thanking God? Well, it's also it's it is one of our favorite songs. It's uh, very high up there when it comes to some of the popular songs that we've done. But it's also thanking our fans. You know, you thank God, of 
course, first. But we thank all the fans. We thank all our fans for giving us all the love that they've given us. We've, uh, we do 75 concerts every year. And the kind of love that we get from our people, from our fans, is unbelievable. And uh, we've captured quite a bit of that in, our, in the documentary. When you see people going crazy, there's emotions like people crying, there's people going completely bananas. Uh, so it's all those things come together and we say thank you to all our fans, yeah. to all our friends, to everybody who's been behind the Salim Suleiman job. I mean this question is really swagatized for Shakti <laughs> because he named it and I think it's a perfect name. I mean I was a little bit, I, I was not too sure initially but then you know it's it's one of my favorite songs, Shukrana. I mean, Everybody's favorite. Yeah. <laughs> so, but what was your take on naming this song? I mean, it was very simple. The whole word Shukran Hala means thank God. It's an ode to God. It's an ode to the fans. So we said, you know, uh, everyone reaches somewhere in their life through their efforts, through their work. But, you know, you should not forget to thank your roots and you know, the Almighty, who's always mm -hmm. there and who's kind of, especially for creative work like this. Because there's, there's a lot of uh, inspiration that comes in from your creative from your you know, roots, from your culture. So it's a uh, time to do that. Okay. So uh, the film traces your journey, your musical journey. So tell us how has it been 25 years of making music? Well, I, I can't even believe that. I mean, I kind of feel a little old by saying that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's my age, by the way. Sorry. Already? <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, that's my issue. I, I started when I was five, so. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but anyway, that's, you know, it's, I feel like, you know, there's so much more to do, and uh, this is just the first part, Shukramana is the first part, and, uh, you know, we are, we are so inspired, uh, you know, making this film and watching it each time. I probably watched it 39 times, not because it's about us, but it's, it's just a film which I'd like to watch, you know, because it's, it, it talks about somebody's, uh, a musician's journey. And uh, 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 it's 25 years have gone by, but you know it feels like we've just begun. I mean, there's so much we've done, but there's so much more to do. You know, I, I feel like uh, we we are who we are because of our fans, and you know, we we do music every day, keep getting you know ideas and you know, inspiration. It's because from the love we get get from our fans, and uh, and it's I, I don't know whether I can't, I can't say much about the 25 years which have gone by, uh, which the film says at all. But, uh, you know, I can say that the next 25 years are going to be fantastic. Okay. So, do you guys believe that dreams come true always? Dreams come true if you believe, if yeah. you believe in them. And if you really work towards it. Yeah. You, have, you can't just uh, dream of things and uh, just sit and let it happen. Yeah. <laughs> you have to work towards yeah. them. Uh, you have to really put in your efforts, your heart, your blood, your soul for every single thing you do. Mm -hmm. If you believe in it, you obviously want to achieve it. And if you believe in it and you work towards it, you can achieve it. Okay. So, like you mentioned, you guys have uh, like every year you guys go for tours across the globe and seventy-five concerts. So, how do you create music on the go? Um, it's a good question. I, I think uh, you know I I, mean, I have to at this stage thank our team. It's very phenomenal. We have a great team. Uh, we have Raj Pandit who's actually clicking. Who's actually uh, live uh, you know on the Salim Suleiman page. Uh, and then um, we have uh, uh, Aftab Khan, who's our engineer, who, and then Neera, who's our tour manager. So we're a team of three people, but they act like seven. And that's, a very, that's another big part in the film. Uh, but we do carry our, uh, you know, portable, of course we have a laptop and something, we have a portable USB keyboard, and we have sound cards and, you know, whatever. And these days a lot of things are on the laptop, you know, uh, a lot of synths and a lot of uh, uh, production tools, etc. So, Post-concert, it's done by 1231. I don't sleep before 4 anyway, not necessarily for anybody. So, so, and we are all geeks, so we so have the latest in technology. The computer is out, the laptop's out, the keyboard's out, and you know, the, you know, after a bit of a dinner and something, you know, there's always some ideas to be, you know, something to be sent across mm -hmm. to Mumbai to some filmmaker or some advertising client or something like that. Which is perfect because when you're in the US at 4 in the morning when you send somebody a file in India, it's yeah. only 2 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> so it's perfect. It's very nice to ask this because uh, you will exactly when you see the film, you will, your question will be answered. You will see exactly how they make music while they are on the road. Yeah, it's, there's, a, there's a big section in the film which, which actually caters to that. And it's, uh, you know, and I'm, I'm so, 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 so happy about you know, our film being on 
uh, on the iTunes store yeah. uh, and you know because it's I mean I watched all my movies all my documentaries there right. offline mm -hmm. and you know for for me to actually click my own film there is like pretty phenomenal so I'm very very happy about that. Okay, so you guys have been making music together. Mm -hmm. Describe each other in three words. Ah, okay. Impatient. <laughs> yeah. Would be one. Um, Forgetful. <laughs> right back at you. Sharp. Geek. <laughs> uh, loving. Oh, that's sweet. More loving. <laughs> <laughs> I know you'd say crazy, but uh, I'll say that about me. Yeah. Okay, so fans are sending in their questions. Okay, go on, guys. <laughs> Actually, lots of lots of comments saying that we love you guys so much. Wow, thank you, thank you, you so, much. so much. We love you too, and we are because of you, honestly. And uh, Mansi asks, what's your current favorite song, both of you? Uh, my current favorite song is. Uh, uh, okay, before he says it, I'll say mine is currently it's Drake One Dance. I'm really loving it. <laughs> okay, my current fav favorite is I'll Show You by Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, now let's start some of your major musical influences. Um, there are there are a lot of people. I mean, you know, the, the, fortunately we grew up in a very strong Indian background. Like my father was a composer as well, so we had a lot of Indian influences. Mother Mohanji is our, our favorite composer uh, in the Hindi film industry. It was uh, Gulam Mustafa Gulam Ali Khan. Uh, uh, you know, the Ghazal Maestro, Sadhnaidi Asim was a, uh, you know, Dalgi, again a Ghazal Maestro. On the, main, on the was, English, on the English Our main idol is uh, Ustad Zakir Hussain, who we've sort of studied under, Suleiman has studied under uh, Ustad Allah Rakha Khan. Uh, we are, this film is also, uh, you know, this movie starts with a picture of Ustad uh, Sultan Khan, who is actually our guru. Uh, mm -hmm. We've learned a lot from him. And then, of course, there are the Western artists like this. There's Michael Jackson, there's Seal. Uh, we were very big fans of Michael Jackson. Yeah. There was Sting, of course. Um, there's, uh, there's Quincy Jones. We used to, uh, I remember listening to an album called Back on the Block. Yeah. Big album. It changed our lives completely. And so Quincy Jones was definitely right up there, right next to Michael Jackson. Because How did it change your life? You know, that was the point when the digital era was just about starting. Mm -hmm. We were um, on the brink of this whole acoustic versus electronic. Uh, and Quincy brought that whole change about in such a subtle, yeah, yeah, album made a difference, such a definitive a manner. Yeah. It was such a definitive uh, album when you hear it. Uh, it made you realize that, wow, this, you know, and he's, I think he's used very minimalistic equipment, but. Mm -hmm. He just created a difference. Yeah, song. but he's also the producer of all Michael Jackson's Thriller and uh, yeah. all the other records, uh, you know, off the wall and everything. So he he was really the pioneer. I mean, he when we heard his record, it was it was bad breaking for us. You know, the way he you worked with so many different artists, different uh, singers, and you know, groups and musicians, and put them all together in such a beautiful. I mean, the music was pop, but it had a touch of jazz. It had funk. It had all sides too really far ahead of its time. But that really inspired us. And then of course there's, there's so many other uh, you know, uh, electronic uh, guys as well. There's BT who we really loved. Uh, you know, off late uh, we've been loving Skrillex. You know, he's been making a lot of noise and you know, I really love the Justin Bieber album, the new one. Um, you know, I've not mentioned it on social media, but now that everyone's alive, I actually went for his concert in, uh, wow. yeah, in Orlando and uh, enjoyed it. It's a great, great production. Okay. Right. More questions on Facebook. Rajveer is asking, what's your current favorite movie, but you can't say Sultan? Um, <laughs> I haven't seen Sultan, so I can't say it. <laughs> yeah, neither have I. Um, uh, my current favorite Hindi film uh, is uh, Talwar. I, I, that's the last film I saw and I really loved it. I actually haven't seen a Hindi film in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And uh, Mansi wants to know, as per the trend, do you want to make rock kind of music? Uh -huh. We've already done that. We started with uh, Kurba Hua, which was like completely rocky. I mean, Asma Luck was, Asma like Luck was very rock. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not like we haven't attempted it. Yeah. And I don't think that is the current uh, flavor or the genre. Yeah. Genres keep changing every time. It all depends on the kind of mood we are in, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, we've gone out somewhere on a nice holiday and you come back and you want to make something nice and chilled and very R&B-ish. 
you go on, maybe one night or two, maybe suddenly you want to make these. <laughs> so, it all depends on the kind of mood you are in. We are, we are in uh, one of those um, in the middle kind of zones where we've been doing all our stuff and we've been working really hard and we've been making music which you will hear very soon. In fact, a lot of people keep asking us to describe the genre of this film. We find it very difficult because it's a documentary but it's a musical. Mm -hmm. So we came up with this new genre called Rockumentary. Yeah. Wow. So we call it a Rockumentary. So yeah. in that sense, it, it, it is. Because, because the, whole, uh, 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 the whole film has about 30 songs. Yeah. Like that. Wow. In 30 minutes. It, in 30 minutes. So it's like there is a song every every 30, 40 seconds. It's like sitting in a concert with uh, a little bit of uh, insight into our lives. Yeah. So you're talking, you're talking a little bit and we talk. I wish I could show all of you guys what the film looks like. I mean, while you guys keep talking, I wish, you know, sort of uh, load the iTunes store and, uh, you know, if I know even yeah. if it doesn't come Yes, yes. So you mentioned that you guys are geeks and you are always using technologies on the go. So can you mm -hmm. name a couple of technologies that you are constantly using? To uh, well, uh, we always carry our iPhones and iPads. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. We are all Apple, big Apple fans. Uh, Salim and I recently just got a mic which connects straight into the iPod, uh, into the phone. Okay. And you can record your voice directly onto that. Uh, we use GarageBand a lot. Uh, we use, uh, there's a new app, well not new but uh, probably undiscovered called uh, Music Memos. Yes. Do you know about it? It's, it's a very cool app, you know, you can, uh, you can record your voice into it and uh, it will automatically kind of give it a groove. Mm -hmm. So your recorded, your recorded voice can you know automatically be synced into a particular form. Uh, you can assign your calls and it will sound like you've made a song. All right. Not really the best thing to do, but when you're on the move and you want an inspiration or you've got an inspiration and you want to really put it down, it's the best kind of thing. So, so the, if, if you, all of you can zoom in and you know some people, as you can see, it's featured, Shukranala, this is the film, it's featured on the carousel of, uh, you know, uh, of the uh, iTunes, on the iTunes store, uh, both in, in India and in the US. So, uh, here it is. In, in Actually, it's not just India, US, it's all over it's the world. all over the world, in Canada, and I'm talking about the stores, yeah, so, all over the world. So, you can, there it is, it's all featured here, and you can just click here, this, you know, and, and pick it up for, uh, in, in the India store, it's just 50. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now since we guys have you here, we can't let you go without making you sing. You See, if there was a keyboard here, I would have sung. That's why I kept telling Malini, you must get a keyboard so you can sing. You can extremely do it. But right now, we will still need you guys to sing. So show. since the film is called Shuk... Jubilee Games, which is a 
which is a community, uh, Ismaili community games, which is happening from, I mean, Ismailis from all over the world are meeting up in Dubai, and uh, it's a huge, big festival. We're doing a global concert, the opening ceremony, global concert, and the closing ceremony. The global concert is something very interesting. We're, uh, for, for the first time, doing this as a world music concert, where we are collaborating with a Tajaki uh, artist from Tajikistan and a Syrian artist. To uh, uh, you know, to and, and uh, we are of course uh, representing the Indian subcontinent, India, Pakistan. So there are these three uh, sort of traditions coming together to do this global concert, which is very interesting. And of course, we are doing a big tour in September, uh, uh, in the month of September, all over the United States and Canada. Uh, especially to mention that we are doing a peace concert on September 11, which is 9/11, in New York City at the Town Hall, which is, you know, something which everyone told us, no, no, September 11th is a very, very sensitive date, but, you know, we wanted to do a peace concert as an offering to a city which we love the most. I, we really love New York. Yeah, it's like on the top of our list yeah. all the time. So we always wanted to do something for that city, and, you know, it's going to be a great collaboration with musicians from New York, from Manhattan, Brooklyn, Queens, New Jersey, to come together to celebrate humani uh, you know, uh, humanitarian. Peace and humanitarian. Peace and humanitarian. So we're doing this as a peace concert on September 11. Okay. And um, now tell the audience why should we watch Shukranala and how can they watch it? I just showed them how they can watch it. <laughs> so uh, Shukranala is um, a small little story, a humble story of humble beginnings uh, to what we are right now. It's a, it's a tribute to all our fans. Uh, a lot of people ask us, uh, you know, how did you guys how do you guys make music? How did you guys grow up? What were your influences? What do you do uh, when you're chilling? Uh, what what kind of concert? What do you do when, when you know just about you're just about to go on stage? What happens to you guys? So there are all these questions um, which intrigue a lot of people. They want to know how you travel. How do you guys do three concerts back to back in two different countries, yeah, yeah. three different cities? You know, there's a lot of things that happen. There's a lot of uh, effort, a lot of planning. Uh, most of the times you're sleeping two hours, three hours. Yeah. So all those things, all those questions are all answered in this beautiful film. Yeah, made it's, by Shakti Hasil. Yeah. It's also it's also a, a great uh, insight about when when we are in the studio, how we actually uh, uh, attempt a song and approach a song, and what are our thoughts. You know, if there's a filmmaker who comes to you saying, "I want a, a kind of a wedding song," you know, how do we approach that? Uh, what really happened to us when we did Coke Studio? Uh, we also when we did FIFA Anthem, and you know we did all these little uh, uh, milestones in our career, which were really really key to us, you know, to inspire us to do further. So the film captures everything in a very beautiful way and says it, you know, says the story in a very poetic way. It has an aspirational value because every upcoming musician or uh, talent will relate to the film because they will see their journey and realize that they are somewhere on the similar journey mm -hmm. and it will relate to even the other you know, musicians of their level who have already achieved that kind of level and they will realize that yes, this, this journey is like that. It's, a, it's an emotional journey, there's a lot of effort that goes into it and there's a lot of love that goes into it. More so love from the fans. It's all only love. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Mansi asks, do you think that without music we can't imagine a film? If yes, then can you give me one reason? Oh, I think film can be without music. I mean, it can, uh, uh, there are, you know, I mean, the, the film has its own story and its own whatever. Uh, of course, it would probably require some sonic treatment here and there. But I have seen a film which is completely silent. I can't remember the name. It's completely no music. It's just dialogues and effects. And I think the film can have... Uh, but I, on that note, I must say the music really is the soul of the film, you know. Whether it's a song or the score or just texture or tonality, it really enhances certain moods. You know, I remember, Sally, when we were doing Booth, uh, yeah. we, were, we were making the music, we made the music. Yeah. And uh, Ram Gopal Varma came, heard it, he said, I like it, it's very good. But then when we were sitting with him, we realized that we wanted to sit back as an audience and feel scared. And we were not feeling scared. That's true. So we went back to it and changed the entire music. Went back again the third time and decided we have to remove some music from the film because the silence was scarier. 
Yeah. 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 So so and that for everybody who's listening to this, it's a great thing what Suleiman is saying is that music is not always, it's very important when not to do music also. Because everybody, silence is music as well. Yeah, everybody knows where to do and sometimes it's very key to know when not to do. Because sometimes those silences are really, you know, make that difference to the music. But just giving another perspective to this whole thing, if you go back to the chapter in era, there was no dialogues. Yeah. It was just music. Correct. And yeah. that just music was also enough to communicate the emotion. And it had no language. No language. Music was the language. So yeah. The idea of having music is the music has no language. Yeah. You know, across genres, across just a tune, whether you understand the language or not, you still get the emotions of the music. True. So that's the yeah. advantage. Okay, lastly your message for your fans. Um I would say uh, guys, you know, if you have uh, anything in your mind, if you aspire to be a doctor, if you aspire to be a writer, aspire to be anything, you know, it's important that you learn. You know, it's very, it's very easy today to just pick up things from different, different places. There's a lot of knowledge on the web, but um, you know, it's, this is especially for musicians and for singers uh, who are, uh, you know, aspiring to be musicians and singers. You know, for especially for musicians, it's very easy today to get pick up things from you know, loops from here and there and whatever, but it's very important to learn an instrument, you know, to learn chords, to learn, you know, a, a raga, to learn many ragas, to learn both Indian and Western, and whatever you study, if you learn the basics, classical music, whether it's Indian music, Indian classical, Western classical, importantly, pick up an instrument and learn that, whether it's a sitar, whether it's a guitar, whether it's a piano, a harmonium, a tabla, a vocal or anything, important to learn. I will not go into too much of this. I am, oh, the only thing I want to say is uh, we have a lot of super fans. And to all those super fans, thank you very much. You guys have been the inspiration for us to keep making music, to keep uh, developing films like Shukranala, uh, to achieve more because we always feel, you know, every time that we're, we do something, you guys come on and give us all the love. So keep giving us all the love, keep giving us uh, inspiration to make good music and to keep getting better. Okay, to conclude with, I'm one of those super fans. <laughs> oh, and it has you. been delightful having you guys here. So I would like to sing a song because Whoa, you guys are so cool. Very cool. for nice. you too. And please join me. Okay. This is not for us, you have to sing for all our fans as well. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so you're probably going out right now to a few million. Huh? Oh my no, God. No, pressure. no pressure. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I can so see the sweat is thing. <laughs> yeah. oh, I don't think she's. There's no pressure. <laughs> but this one's essentially for you too. Thank you. So here I go.